Welcome to Glass of Bubbly. We're about to taste a special Japanese sparkling wine that took home the trophy in the Tropical Burst category at the Glass of Bubbly Awards 2022. Kaku Sibata from Lumiere? From Lumiere, yes. Sparkling tradition Kaku Subata. Kaku Subata. That is, a, that is a tongue twister, but I know this well, I know this wine quite well. I'm dying to taste it again. It is a magnificent wine and it befits the tropical burst category for me totally. Can I give it an open? Yes, absolutely. So Lumiere is from Japan, Japanese right. winery. It's family owned and has been in operation for 136 years. It started where it was established in 1885 and the grapes are all hand-picked. Hand-picked. There we go. So... Let's give this a go. Let's release People those bubbles. People have been growing grapes in Japan since 718 AD, but the first record of winemaking in Japan comes in the 16th century. 16th century. Look at that beautiful label. Lovely, most engaging label there for the Kakusu butter. Um, and was it 12% 12, 12 alcohol and uh, traditional bottle fermented. Um, there we go. So, pour away the kakusu batter from Japan. So we're looking for those lovely tropical burst cat, um, flavors and aromas of uh, pineapple, melon, tropical fruits. Oh, I can smell it already. I've got my nose nowhere near the glass. <laughs> I can smell it. Is it bottle? It must be the bottle. Mm. A lovely expression of banana, yeah. fresh and dried. Crushed banana on toast. Yes. Yeah, so like you're spreading it on toast. Floral, really good, lovely, uh, an array of floral notes. You've just walked into the, the kind of florist shop and you've got an array of, uh, of flowers shouting out at you. Yeah, in particular, I do get yellow rose petals. Stand out for me, but a good variety of different floral notes. But there's exotic fruits as well as tropical, dried fruits on top of that. You may have got kind of pineapple chunks, dried. Yeah, it is, it, is a, it is a very nice mix of fresh, tropical and exotic, combined with uh, drier, dry stuff. Dry and a little bit of pastry. I've got a kind of very, uh, a kind of Danish pastry. Danish pastry, but certainly a banana Danish pastry. Usually you might have an apricot, but this is certainly a bit banana style. Yeah, it's definitely got that tropical fruit in the pastry. Let's give those flavours a go. Lovely, smooth, and yet silky, creamy, almost velvety. That's all these words come to mind when it hits the palate. Yeah, well, lovely. It's a banana at the forefront for me. Leading on to a bit of dried pineapple. Lovely Touch of citrus. Yeah, citrus. Minerals, a good expression from the terroir. But it is tropical. You, you, you've got it, you, you, you believe in that you've stuck your hand into a tropical sweet jar. And then you're sucking on one of those kind of bold sweets. It is full of flavour. It's very. It's got so much character. It's got a wealth of character, and it is certainly different and in a very positive way. This is quite out there when it comes to styles of traditional method sparkling wine. And for me, it is <coughs> from the Lumiere Winery because they have a few there. The Delaware, they have the Rosé. This is my favourite from from this winery. It's yeah. just, just, just incredible. And we're just sorry that we can't share those aromas and flavours with you only by our words. But take them for, uh, for, for gospel and give it a go yourself because this Lumiere is, is a worthy trophy winner for the Tropical Burst. Yeah. One more sip. If you love tropical fruits mm. and sparkling wine, it's a perfect combination. Well, is that about it on this one? Yeah, that's it. Good. Well, there we go. Kakushi Butter, Lumiere from Japan. Thanks for watching and until next time. Enjoy the fizz.